Hi, welcome to another how-to by myself, Rob Allen. Today I'm filming from inside during lockdown and uh, reason for that, the wind is howling outside and uh, too noisy with the mic. Today we're going to discuss roller guns in a lot more detail. We have run this before, but today I'm going to go into more detail and show you a few of the do's and don'ts. First off, I'd like to mention, I just picked up one of our older rollers lying on the boat. Can't get a new one out of the factory, factory is still closed. As you can see, standard 90 carbon, no bands at this stage. Does have one of the newer reels. We've talked about them in a new previous video. I'll show you how to set up the bands. Initially, when the gun's been sitting a long time, it's a good idea to test the rollers. This one spins fine. This one not so good. That's because it's been left on the boat wet, a lot of salt water in there. That's all dried out. And now that one roller is slightly stiffer. If I manipulate it, it still turns okay, but we need to attend to that. Quite simple, run it under warm water, cold if you don't have warm, and I'll show you the difference. Here we have the roller. One side, as you can here, very free. Other side, not so free. Apply some water. There you can see. Runs perfectly free now. Just needed a very small rinse. This can even be done in the sea. Band length on rollers are a common issue. There's no exact science behind this. A lot's going to depend on the brand of rubber and what your personal preference is as well as the water temperature. Water temperature plays a big part. So we tend to start off with on a 16 mil, we take half the barrel length plus 10 centimeters. You can always shorten it thereafter. You can't make it longer if you've cut it too short. So I'm going to show you how to test your pre-band tension. Once the band's made up, very easy to install. The two lengths, one goes in either side. And there the bands are installed in the muzzle. Obviously the trailing ends are loose. The trick to get these onto the lower, these are the lower band hooks, is to pre-open these small loops. Make sure they quite splayed because when you're pulling on them, you don't have enough free hands to sort them. It's best to semi-cock or semi tension hold the one on the other side taut while you get the small ring in place not always easy only having one hand one is on we now put the other side on the reason for keeping tension on it is if you pull on only one side the chances are it can flip around in the muzzle. Not too critical, just a little trick. And there you have it. Both sides now connected. This band is now under quite a bit of tension. Obviously not a good idea to leave it under tension when stored. That will degrade the band much faster. So what we're going to try and determine is what tension is at the muzzle in its preloaded configuration. To do that, we use a scale of any type. This is a cane scale. And 
we hook that into the band and hold on it. Just as it rotates out the muzzle to get it to move, we've got 14.9. This is an old gun, been lying in the boat for a few months and these bands have been left pre-tensioned. That shows you how much the bands have deteriorated by and we should be getting at least 19 to 20 kilograms. We have powered these up in the past to 25 kilograms and they still work well. Obviously at 25 this is quite difficult to load and as you see, you can only pull on this small loop. So to rehash that, when cutting bands, cut them about half the barrel length, plus 10 centimeters for 16 millimeter. Then tension them at the muzzle with a scale, just so that they start moving, no more than that. Long as you can get them to move over the roller, that's the pressure you should be reading. This should be around 19 to 20 kilograms minimum. If it's less than that, like you've seen on ours, the gun will not perform well. To correct that, as you've seen on ours, all we need to do is shorten the bands a little. And as you've seen, leaving them preloaded, not a good idea. With the 16 mm bands, they seem to match best with 7.5 mm spears. For 14 mm bands, we suit them best to 7 mm spears. They should come to about 18 minimum and probably 22 kilos maximum. You test them exactly the same way. And as you can see, whatever you do, don't leave them preloaded. If you do, you're going to have to cut them shorter, otherwise they're not going to perform well. So there you have it. More detail on our rollers. I hope that really helps. Any questions, please feel free to add it in the links below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Thanks for watching.